Good evening and welcome. My name is Christian Hall here with BTW 21 News, filling in for Luis Romero, who is on vacation. And we thank you for watching. We hope you all had a very, very good Christmas. Firstly, we wanted to talk about a crash that happened December 16th. We now have learned that 30-year-old Oscar Eduardo Vidria, born in Mexico, was charged with the following. Misdemeanor reckless driving, misdemeanor driving while suspended or revoked, misdemeanor driving while intoxicated first offense, class four felony, class four felony, permanent maiming another while DWI, class six felony, DWI maiming serious injuries. He also received two traffic summons according to the Patrick County Sheriff's Office. As we have reported, the crash occurred at 9.35 p.m. on Route 8 in Patrick County. Two vehicles were involved in a head-on collision, according to Virginia State Police. State Police said everyone was transported for injuries received in the crash. Now let's talk about a motorcycle crash report that happened on Christmas Eve night. A motorcycle crash happened around 7 p.m. Sunday night involving one person. What we know, a single vehicle crash happened on College Drive near PNHCC. As the driver was going southbound, he encountered a deer and wrecked his vehicle. The driver was rushed to the hospital and his current status is unknown. Next, we're going to talk about Henry County closing out their year with a positive audit. The result of an audit conducted by Creedle, Jones and Associates PC found that Henry County unassigned fund balance grew during fiscal year 2023. The county ended FY23 with a fund balance just north of $106 million. This was an increase of approximately $38.7 million from the prior year, according to a news release. Nearly 36% of the $106 million falls under the county's unassigned fund balance. Funds in the unassigned fund balance are available to be spent at the county's discretion, the release states. The total for this fund is approximately $38 million, which is nearly 58% of the total general fund expenditures for the county. In order to maintain its bond rating, the county says it has self-imposed a limit on its unassigned fund balance that reserves a minimum of 15% of the fund for emergency savings. The percentage equates to roughly $24 million. When subtracted from the overall unassigned fund balance, that leaves approximately $14 million in the county's discretionary fund available for one-time expenses. On Saturday, the Heads of State Entertainment Group ensured that all kids had a Christmas present by hosting a toy giveaway. It's a great turnout today. Like I was saying earlier in our driver's meeting, we had rain one year. It was real cold, but today the Lord bless us for mid-50s, beautiful day. Everyone can come out and enjoy themselves and, and not be shivering in the cold. Uh, we had a, a, a new facility at the Speedway Service Center. But our good friends, all of our sponsors, they help us out. It's on our backdrop right here, helps make this happen. And a lot of private entities help us make this happen. Uh, heads of state, we just want to do our part, but everyone that, that – supports heads of state. They're, they're, they're the real blood going through this body that, that we have going on here today. Oh, li literally hundreds of people. You know, we had well over 100 cars in the ride, and uh, it was great to see people come out with such a good cause. There's so many children right here in Marshall and Henry County who may have otherwise not had an opportunity to receive something for Christmas if it wasn't for the generosity of all the people who came out to participate in this ride and all the sponsors who helped out with this, Mr. Eric Phillips, the Phillips yeah, Logistics. Him, yeah. yeah. So everybody really come together to provide for the community, and we're glad to be a part of this, and we're just thankful for that opportunity. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back after these important messages. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. 
Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Silver Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit silverphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. Do you like to learn how to rent your first apartment or buy your first home? Do you need help cleaning up your credit? At the Center for Housing Education, we're providing you with valuable resources and training to help you transition to your new housing lifestyle. Visit the Center for Housing Education at 51 East Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Give us a call at 276 302-1656. All services are free. Cultivating new housing lifestyles, the Center for Housing Education. Hello, hello everybody. I hope everyone is doing well and had a wonderful Merry Christmas on yesterday. Now, last week was the first day of winter on the 21st, but it haven't really been feeling like that, but we are gonna start cooling down towards the end of this week, looking more like the winter time. Let's look at this evening's forecast. 5 p.m. It's going to be some more rain. We saw rain yesterday. We've been seeing rain today. We can continue seeing that rain on tomorrow. So 5, 8, and 11 p.m. It's going to be a lot of rain at 53 degrees all night. That sunset is going to be at 5.09 p.m. All right, let's go ahead and look at tonight's overnight forecast. All right, as you see, that is right 100% of rain for tonight. We're going to have those east northeast winds at only six miles per hour like i said it's gonna be a rainy night with some fog and we're expecting about one to two inches of rain on tonight as you can see it is gonna be a warmer night than we what we had on last week boone's mill at 49 rocky mound at 50 fairham at 49 oak level at 50 will at 49 martinsville and ridgeway both at 51 for tonight Stewart at 50 and Air Rat at 52 for tonight. All right, looking at tomorrow, we're going to continue seeing that rain, but it will go to some clouds after that rain died down. We got that 90% chance of rain and some light winds at 3 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 57, Rocky Mount at 57, Varum at 56, Oak Level at 56, Woolwine at 59, Martinsville at 58. Ridgeway at 57, Stewart at 59, and Air Rat hitting 60 for that high on tomorrow. All right, tomorrow we're going to still see those spring-like temperatures, but we are going to start the day with some rain, which will die down to a pretty cloudy day. So that's why that rating is a 4 out of 10. We're expecting about a quarter of an inch of rain in the morning, and we got those light winds, but... Sunrise will be at 7.30 a.m. All right, let's check out this three-day forecast. Like I said, it's gonna, we're going to start off with some rain on tomorrow, which will die down to a cloud at 58 degrees. Moving into tomorrow night, we've got a slight chance of rain at 20%, but it will be around 42 degrees, a few clouds here and there, but overall a pretty mild night. Now on Thursday, we can see a little bit of sunshine, at partly cloudy for on Thursday. 59 degrees so almost 60 with a very low chance of rain so thursday is going to be a pretty nice day moving into thursday night seeing a few clouds at 
36 degrees. Now on Friday, we're gonna build up on those clouds and drop down to 48 degrees. And we do have that 20% chance of rain on Friday. So however, hope everyone enjoys the rest of this week. And as always, thank you for tuning in to your BTW21 News forecast. Stay tuned for more after this. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Dan. Welcome to Zimmar Chiropractic, your solution to a pain-free life. With our specialized chiropractic adjustments, we target back and neck injuries, offering tailored treatments for your specific needs. Conveniently located at 3652 Virginia Avenue, our advanced facility includes in-house x-ray machines and skilled massage therapists. Call us now at 276-647-5555 to take the first step towards a healthier and more comfortable you. Zimmar Chiropractic. Your path to wellness starts here. Hi, Barry Nelson and Nelson Kid Bassett Forks. We got a 24 soul. Richard Petty'd be proud. It's only 25410. We'll $500 off. Come get it while it lasts. Got a 24 Kia Forte. This baby gets 39 miles to a gallon. It only costs you 21725. That's a great deal for a brand new car with a hundred thousand mile warranty. Only at Nelson Kia. One of my favorite Kias, a 24 Sportage. It's an X Pro. It's one of the best ones, off road package. We got $1,500 off MSRP. I love my Kias. Gonna give you a real deal. A 23 Sorrento EX X Line. I'm gonna give you $1,500 off this baby. One of the hottest SUVs on the planet. A 24 Telluride SX Prestige. I'm gonna give you $2,000 off. The hottest car on the planet. Come see us at Nelson Kia, where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome back. Let's talk sports. Let's take a look at a few games you may have missed last week and a few games that are coming this week. <laughs>
For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Keep mice, rats, and rodents outside where they belong. The best way to avoid a rodent infestation is to prevent them from ever getting inside. Terminex offers solutions to help keep harmful rodents out. Give us a call, 540-339-6955 for your inspection today. Hey guys, this is Amy with Homes by Amy and Company, Keller Williams of Martinsville. We proudly serve Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, and surrounding areas. We enjoy helping purchasers find their dream home. We offer staging services to anyone who may need it, and we take pride in selling our listings quickly and getting our clients the most return for their investment. My team and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making us number one real estate firm locally. We are here for all of your real estate needs. Welcome back. Now it is time for your Martinsville Henry County Crime Report. Megan Spencer of Ridgeway. Charged with petty larceny, less than $500, not from person. Dawson Stamey of Eden, North Carolina. Charged with malicious wounding, stab cut wound with malicious intent. Keandre Clements of Bassett. Charged with simple assault against family member and damaged telephone line or intercept message. Brandy Dalton of Martinsville. Charged with reckless care for child. Nasir Ellis of Martinsville, charged with carry concealed weapon. Keisha Grant of Collinsville, charged with disregarding police command to stop endangerment, resisting arrest, obstructing justice without threats of force. Burglary of dwelling to commit other felony, intentionally damage any property, and reckless care for child. Kenneth Harrison of Ridgeway, charged with intoxication in public. Michelle McGrady of Bassett, charged with possessing Schedule 1, two drugs while possessing firearm, possession Schedule 1 or two drugs, and possession Schedule 4 drugs. Jonathan Hagee of Stewart, charged with bomb threat, etc. by offender 15 or over. Billy Hall of Stewart, charged with probation violation felony. When you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner.
You know where to get them big old tars and lift kits? Where's that? Down there at that PVT. Really? They got big tars, they got small tars, they even got medium-sized tars, and they got the best prices too. PVT Express, 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, established on January 1st, 1982 by Dr. Locke Boyce. We've now been in the animal care business for 41 years. With over 20,000 clients from the surrounding areas and everywhere located in Stewart, in Patrick County, in Virginia. Dr. Boyce's son, Cody Stevens, longtime employee Chad Hudson, and with an experienced staff, continue to carry on Locke's legacy in exceptional pet care with affordable pricing. Now, with four experienced veterinarians to serve you better and faster. If your pet is in need, bring them on by. Medical, boarding, grooming, and more. No appointment necessary. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call for more information, 276-694-3564. Hi, I'm Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. We would like for you all to come in and see us, see what products that we have and what we can do to serve you. And we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-638-8771. Welcome back. Now it is time for your Bassett Funeral Service obituary report. Myrtle Inez Compton, 86 of Ridgeway, passed away Sunday, December the 17th, 2023. All services will be private. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the Compton family. Online condolences can be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Gail House Gladwell, 66 of Spencer, passed away Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023. All services will be private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Daniel Eugene Walker, 86, of Cascade, Virginia, passed away Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023. The family and friends will meet at a later date. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Leslie Williamson, 62, of Martinsville departed this life Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023. A visitation service will be held Friday, December the 29th, 11.30 a.m. until the time of the funeral at 12 noon at Harrison Funeral Home in Martinsville. A public viewing will be held Thursday, December the 28th from one. Hi, I'm Paul Kennedy with Bassett Funeral Service and I'm excited to introduce our new funeral director, Beth Edna Harrison of Bassett, Virginia. Hello, my name is Beth Edna Hairston. I'm a funeral director with Bassett Funeral Services. I am happy to be back home in Bassett, Virginia, serving my community as a funeral director. I look forward to serving you. Bassett Funeral Service has been serving Martinsville and Henry County for 28 years. In 2024, let our family serve your family. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair, no problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, 
Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Frill Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Frill Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniels Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service the establishment is now serving two locations, Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina, phone 336-694-4881, and Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina, phone 336-627-3300, website www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carryout or catering needs. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for you today. Thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Zyrus Treasure Chest is a thrift and variety shop located in Central Plaza. We specialize in gently worn clothing for everyone. We have everything from musical equipment to ham radios, scuba gear to sewing machines, furniture items, jewelry, books, whatever you need. If we don't have it today, check back tomorrow. We will do our best to find it for you. We accept all major credit and debit cards. We are open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and Fridays till 7 p.m. Stop by, browse, say hello, you are welcomed here. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family ages 2 and older with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school and sport physicals, diabetes and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. Hi, Barry Nelson at GR Chevrolet. It's Payment City today. We got a 2017 cruise, only $239 a month. That's a great deal. Payments keep rolling. A 2017 Sonic LT, only $217 a month. You want a great SUV? A 15 Equinox, only $199 a month. Woohoo! All right, we got a 2016 Colorado. Only $2.99 a month. That's a great deal for a truck, a good truck. You want a truck at a good price, cheap truck, $3.29 for 18 Ram. That's an 18 Ram 1500 with a Hemi. Come get it at GR Chevrolet. Got a 2018 Silverado, Texas edition. You know everything's bigger in Texas. This is only $3.99 a month for a lifted truck, 
at GR Chevrolet where everybody knows cars cost less.